Welcome back, and welcome aboard to another flight of Air America Duet. Today, as you see, we're going to be flying our DC-6. The old Douglas DC-6 from the 1940s, around 1947. And uh, just an old workhorse, beautiful airplane, uh, kind of near and dear to me because I had an uncle who helped design and actually build this airplane uh, in his long and uh, excellent career in aviation. So uh, we're going to be doing a flight today. It's going to be a uh, um, flight jobs flight, and we're going to be flying uh, from here where we're at at uh, KMIA, which is Miami International, up to KGSP, which is Greenville Spartanburg International in uh, the upstate of South Carolina. 555 nautical miles and uh, we'll be carrying 40 passengers. So, let's go ahead and with that, let's get into uh, our airplane. Okay, so here we are in the cockpit of the DC-6. Now the DC-6 is an aircraft that was de designed by uh, PMDG uh, for originally for uh, FSX uh, and X-Plane 10. Uh, this airplane was the first aircraft that uh, the developers at PMDG did for X-Plane. Uh, they haven't given a lot of support to explain and this is their first venture into it. The aircraft is absolutely beautiful, very well rendered and so on. Now that being said, they have given zero support for X-Plane 11 and today we are actually flying in the X-Plane 11.30 B for Beta 1. This uh, new X-Plane 11 uh, version uh, actually dropped uh, just a day or two ago. So this will be actually my first flight in the uh, new beta. So we'll see how that goes. But as you can see right now, air crews there, nothing will work in the airplane uh, when it first renders. What I have to do is I go to my plugins here uh, plug in admin, enable, disable, and then I have to go on and find PMDG DC-6 and activate the airplane. Now, that being said, uh, I don't know if other people have had this problem. Uh, if they have, I sure would like to know if they found a way to fix it. Um, my AFE uh, which is my um, artificial uh, flight engineer he will go once I click on it he will go through the checklist and help prepare the airplane for flight the problem is we don't get to hear the audio interaction between the captain and the flight engineer like I did in X-Plane 10 uh, everything works except the audio uh, every once in a while there'll be a snippet of it. So it's got to be something simple that uh, is causing the problem. But uh, first let me go ahead and set this up here. Um, one of the things I found is right now it's, it's set at uh, cold and dark. Um, so we go ahead and we get uh, set up for uh, ready to start. Then go black to black. <laughs> back to cold and dark. Let's remove all these stands. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get things started here. Yeah, cockpit free flight. So he'll go through the workflow, set the switches, set the 
uh, throttles uh, to prepare the airplane to start and you'll actually see uh, the flight entry uh, stairs and doorway will actually close but normally right now we would be hearing an interaction as he goes through the checklist tell him this you know the radios are set um, you know, cow flaps are set power is set there you can see the door is closing and they pull the stairs away and yeah, as you can see we've got our power here So, his workflow is complete. Everything's on hold right now. So with that, let's pull up and set our flight plan. Okay. Gonna have to clear some stuff. All right. So right now, we're not at any of those locations, so we are at KMIA. All right, so. Okay, what's going on here? Clear that. Hmm. Greenville Spartanburg. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> wow, so sorry. Yeah, put that back. We are ready to start engines. So let's go ahead and everything looks good there. My gauges, my engine gauges, all that. Everything looking good. That looks good. All right, first things first.
Details, ATIS 11915. 11915. So... information hmm well, that should have given me information okay well with that let's go ahead and we're set up for engine number three. Everything's set up. And let's go ahead and start. Engine number three. Now, engine number three has to be started in order to get power and to the aircraft and keep it there. It runs everything. So, let's go ahead. Set up for engine number four. It's turning over nice. Yeah. Okay. So that's looking good. And engine number two. Two's running uh, excellent. And finally, engine number one. So, let's see here. And yeah, we'll log into flight jobs. Yeah. The job has started. All right. So, Next thing is after start checklist. Switch off ground power to battery power. Generators and inverters are set. Emergency lights are armed. Ground power is disconnected. Okay, 
So, we are ready to taxi. So let's take a look outside. Alright. We're here, so we're just gonna go down and straight across to uh, zero A right. All right, <clears throat> things are looking like we almost know what we're doing. Break off. Start moving out here. Approaching zero eight left. So here we go. Let's do uh, before takeoff checklist. Okay, boost pumps, fuel selectors, and cross feed. Autopilot, carb heat, set. Hydraulic system. Flaps at 20. Here go the flaps. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we do thank you very much for your attention. And now we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the takeoff. The captain has made tower communications Windows available. So turbines. if you'd like to monitor the air traffic system, you'll find that Close on channel up. 9 and your headsets in the seat pocket in front of you. We'll give you a little more information about our service Controls plan for clear. life as soon as we're in the air. Thank you. And Pito again, on. welcome aboard. Mixtures and cow flaps set for takeoff. Transponder is set. Landing lights. Extended. Checklist complete. onto the runway. Thank you. 
on runway zero eight right. Good. It's going to be a dry takeoff. So, let's get ready. Power 30 inches. Should start to hit, hit, hear the engine start here pretty quick. There we go. Getting up there. Inches. On runway zero eight right. On runway zero eight right. Flap set three degrees. Good. Check. Full power, please. Full power is set. Brake released. And we are moving. Airspeed is a lot. One hundred. And rotate. And we have positive rate, gear up. Flaps coming up. Okay, so we are up and climbing nicely. About 500 feet a minute.
and right now I'm hand flying it. I just like to. I could put on the basic. Uh, Autopilot, but See how it does. Distance 542 miles, just over three hours. And once we get to cruising altitude, uh, we'll get everything set and uh, sit back and relax and enjoy the flight. Let's 
go ahead and set the cruise. Cruise power. Stabilize our altitude. And set it for cruise. Mixture being set now. And workflow is complete. So we're all set for cruising. And with that, we are on our way. Everything's looking good. We'll be back with you when we get ready to start our descent into Greenville, Spartanburg. So enjoy the flight, and we will see you soon. This latest update of the X-Plane 2. Black Willow. The this this is the uh, mission, gener mission generator thing. Um, I don't know. No, what, what I'm saying is is this latest update of X-Plane. I'm seeing uh, things on my aircraft while it's flying that I have never seen before in this DC-6. There's like the contrails, the vapor trails coming off the wingtips, yeah. yeah. and and my 737 last yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then you see the particle effects of the jet engines where it's instead of it being kind of a wave-looking stuff, like you see a water wave or whatever, except for it's air, instead it's more of a, of a not a mist, but more of a, a fuzz. You know, it's, it's the same thing, but it's like it fuzzed out where it looks like a ball well, yeah, or and something I, of that nature. Yeah, and I'm seeing more, um, like, exhaust-type smoke coming off the engines, too, of this prop. Yeah, yeah. Where the, it looks kind of cool, but they may have to tone it back because you don't have contrails like that depending yeah. upon altitudes. Yeah. And moisture in the air, stuff like that. So, but it looks yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I gotta give them credit. That's kind of nifty. Mhm. Mm oh, no, for sure. And my DC six, she looking fine. <laughs> Very nice. All right, well, we've started our descent. We are approximately 20, about 26 and a half miles from uh, our approach vector. Descending at uh, almost 500 feet a minute. Seven minutes. Miles. 
going to be landing on runway 22. So we're going to have to come up here and make a turn. But so far, uneventful flight. The airport sits at just under 1,000 feet above the MSL. It's out there somewhere by a cracky. And we'll probably end up flying right over the top of it. Originally, I wanted to land on uh, zero 04, but Hades told me that today they're using 2 2. So I'll have to behave. Yeah, the vapor trails seem to come and go depending upon, I guess, temperature and dew point and so on outside. We had quite a bit of rain out here lately, so yeah, that may work. Yep, there's the airport. 2-2 Two is up here.
we'll make a right turn, head out to the, the holding point, and then we'll come back to Chevy. And that'll be our approach. If everything goes well. something here.
into Greenville. Very good. The flying monkeys. That's exactly where we're going, along with you. Oh, the engine Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our destination. Wow. For your safety and comfort, please remain seated until the captain turns off the fasten seatbelt sign. Please check around you for any personal belongings. Please also use caution when opening the overhead lockers as heavy articles may have shifted during the flight. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us, and have a pleasant day. Well, let's go ahead and finish the flight. I'm speeding again. Finish successfully. <laughs> okay, now. On runway two, two, on okay, runway two, two. Uh, I think there should be a lot higher punishment for speeding. I agree with you, Trigger Punk Suit. Hmm. I actually do agree with you. Okay. In the UK, I don't know what it's like across so, all the rest of Europe, but. Job was completed. Very interesting. Uh, maximum of 12 points on your license and most mediocre. So, let's do some checking here. At this point, I thought the landing gear was down. I was having a nice approach into Greenville. There's the runway over there. Things aren't looking too bad. And besides, who needs checklist? I had attempted to put the landing gear down. So I thought. But what I didn't realize was is that when I hit my Hotas key for my landing gear, instead of pulling it backwards, I've must have pushed it forward which means landing gear up and the landing gear was already up and that's why when the I was going back on the throttles I got that warning and it just never clicked yes it's true I'm a dumbass but the landing was really good feet per minute was excellent Nobody screamed. I even got applauded by the people on the plane. X-Plane didn't even look at it as a crash. Just looking really good.
And that explains why the engines quit. Look at that. What a pretty landing. We won't need ladders. We'll just step out from there. <laughs> what more can I say? That's just a really good landing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, what can I say? Checklist? Who needs checklist? I thought I'd put the landing gear down. I'd inadvertently hit my HOTA switch the wrong way, and so it thought I was putting the landing gear up, which was already up. But yeah, I'd admit, that was a beautiful landing. We even got credit from flight jobs for the for the job. And and you know, damage to the aircraft is gonna be very minimal. We'll have to get a you know, crane to pick it up so we can put the gear down and roll it back to the uh, terminal or maintenance shed, but uh, you know, it made for an interesting flight. You know, takeoffs and landings are the only thing anybody's really interested in anyway. <laughs> so, something new and different. Haven't done anything like that in a very, 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 very long time. So, what can I say? Hope you all enjoyed the flight. If you did, please uh, click the like button. If you didn't like it, click the thumbs down button. Uh, if you'd like to be notified about any of the postings I put on YouTube, please click the notification bell. Sure enjoyed having you along. Enjoyed bringing you the flight, even with the interesting ending. So, until next time, this is Bug Eater 64 thanking you all for coming. And uh, we'll see you next time in the skies. As always, safe flying.